Hello, I wanted to give a quick example of how the tutor resource works within uh, class in. Uh, so here we have a live classroom and I can go ahead and go down to this special toolbox and find our browser. And once we have our browser open, we go to or you can have this copy paste ready, but the Source.com. So first time you go there, you'll have to log into the website. Uh, but after that, it'll keep working for you. Oops, I had too many twos. <laughs> the tutorresource.com. And then we give it one second. It'll load on. There we go. And once you log in, right here. You'll have access to any of your courses. So I'll go ahead and quickly log in for a second. And you would use your username. And you would use your password. Now, of course, if you've done this once before, you won't have to do this each time if you click that Remember Me. So the first time you log in, like one during your prep time, you'll be fine. <gasps> now, click Log In, get it going. Now you're logged completely in. Any of your courses that you've recently been enrolled in will automatically pop up saying, Yay, you've been enrolled in a new lesson. Uh, and once those disappear, Go back to your profile. This is where you have access to a lot of things. You also have your dashboard, which has directly access to your courses. When you go to My Courses, now this is what you probably want to have saved. So if you just come onto the website, you just open up your browser, and you have this link saved. I'm going to close the browser right now. And I open the new browser, the blank browser. I paste in when I'm ready to go. Go straight to my dashboard because it knows I'm logged in. Welcome, Teacher David. All your courses that you currently have access to are already here. Let's go in and teach one. Click on Teachers Together English, light, sound and light. And I can click Get Started. Or just click on the, the, the lesson that you want to start with. It could be any lesson in the series. Most of these lessons will always have a little bit of the instructions at the top. But there's our PowerPoint right there. Let's make it full screen so the student has access to it and do whatever they want to do with it uh, within, within reason. So clickable. Just click on the screen to go forward. As you can see, everything loads. When you're going through it, everything loads just fine. Have your student read their stories, answer questions, animations, they pop up. Answering the, uh, answering the questions on this particular one from the student account. If you've given the student access and privileges, turn that on for them, they will be able to use their tools. Hello again to do all the things that they normally do. So we can circle our answer. They can write on the screen. In this case, see, we can write on the screen. So everything still works as it was working before. All right. There, ducks, our duck's back. <laughs> All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of how that works. You go on to your next screen, next one right here. Sometimes you might have to erase anything that they've currently done. It's really easy. You can highlight and delete, or just click on the screen and then Control A delete. It's fast. There's a whole group on Class In uh, for Class In teachers to teach people all the ins and outs of using Class In really quickly. 
Also, if you click down here on this button, so we're going to be on our arrow, we can see we can open our speaker notes to look at that, turn on a laser pointer within here, exit, other options. You can click on the slide. And if your the creator has labeled their slides, uh, then all the slide names and what they're about will be on here. So you can quickly navigate to and from whichever the slide might be. So this one is not as easy. The slides haven't been edited to have all names put it by them. But if the they go, the creator goes through and changes all these to have names, it's much faster and easier to find things. But that's it. It's easy as that. Uh, if you want to move back and go back to your other lessons, you can just click the back and get back out of there and find another lesson to teach your student. Here's a uh, here's a level three. So we've got lots of level three ones on here, level twos. There's the Valentine's lessons. So just many, many things that you can choose from on here uh, so that people can go. Let's go to the Let's Play Sports because it actually has some animations in it. So let's go ahead and check out this first one on Let's Play Sports. And we're going to go ahead and make it full screen mode. And let's click through. So we're on our, on our first page here. It's got a little video that you can play for your student. Turn on the share sound here. You might not be able to hear it as easily because All right. gives you an idea of that. My my audio goes through my microphone right now the way I have this set up. So that gives you an idea. Videos play. It's fast. And going through some of these, you can see all the pictures. So videos, pictures, everything is loading. There's a good there's a slide animation that pops up. Batter up. Ah, the animated photo. So going so uh, going on and on and on. So again, these these work so much better. Even these high uh, kilobit files that free class end users uh, have trouble with. Uh, all, all class end users seem to have trouble with. But this gives you an idea so you can uh, access everything. You can see everything. You don't have to load a fi an actual file because the file size might be too big. You might be out of storage. You can access it directly from the site in an easy way. If you have questions, please let me know. And, uh, I hope this helps.